All right, everybody, welcome back to Jason's Design Shop. Today we're gonna to do something I've never done before, which is to box in some posts in the front of a house. Let's get started. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this big eight foot long, eight inches wide, one inch thick. We're gonna make a box out of them. I've got 16 of them, because we have four posts, four on each one. And I wanted to miter the corners so they'd come together in a, at an angle, right? The, the two pieces of wood on every edge, right here. Rip these down, corner them, miter them together. But there's not enough, they're not wide enough. The beams are already so wide that I'm gonna have to overlap them and do this kind of a thing on each side. So that will make it easier to put together and faster and less cutting. All I gotta do is cut the lengths and some notches in the top to fit around some of the, the beam work and take off lights and repost the uh, lamps and put them back on. So we got some screws, screw it on. We uh, picked up a new blade, Diablo. Cheap little $30 blade. Um, get this saw going again. I've cut so much uh, cherry wood with it that it's not doing good. It's gonna burn the wood. All right, so let's get going. This way. There's actually three here. Four posts, that one, that one. This one. All right. Here that there was once boxed in before. The cement step there. So we are gonna do it again. Okay, let's get this new saw blade on here. There it is. That is amazing video magic. All right. Let's put my little zero clearance made out of scrap wood. Come on, something straight. Right. Well, I don't think I'm really gonna use this much. I can use a cross cut saw. Okay. All right, cause it's so nice out here today. We're gonna get set up out here in the grass. And the other reason, I just cleaned out the whole garage. I don't wanna get all dirty again for this one little project. It's gonna create a lot of sawdust. So, here we go, get this new thing up and going again. My newest saw, love it. These are guided, baby. All right, let's do this. All right, I got all four boards here, ready to mark them all up, all at once. And then we'll uh, cut them all at once, and put them all together all at once. One beam at a time, because I think they're all going to be slightly different. So let's do it. All right, this back one is 92 and 3 eighths. Here we go, 91, 92, 3 eighths, right there. It's better to cut off and to add. We want it to be nice and snug. Oop. But, that gets cut off. Now we gotta come down for a beam right here. So let's measure that out. <laughs> okay, mark them all. Cutting off the, the length so they'll sit up there nicely, but then I, I'm starting here and going up. So I need to break this brick, get it down inside the box and get another one maybe on this side, just so they can sit on that nicely off the ground, off the water. End grain will want to suck in the water, so. Although, it's only when it snows. Wire this, leave this on the inside, put this on the outside, but this is probably nailed on here, and I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see, we'll see. How wide is this? <laughs> 
Mm, maybe, maybe. That's pretty silly. We forgot the power. <laughs> I just show you that to show you. See, you're not the only one. <laughs> sharp corner so I'm gonna use the jig so I can create a sharp corner in there I think that'll look a bit better oh see that you think that was bad but that's actually good that means I'm not gonna be too big <laughs> I take a 16th off of there it'll be a perfect fit let's check the height see it but we'll leave the uh the extra on the top, I suppose. Now, harder than it looks, we've got to shave off a hair. <laughs> uh, skill saw might work better, table saw. Let's try this. Well, that was a hair. Sticking to the blade. Let's see. Oh. It's fitting, but it's fine enough now. Just micro, micro too tight. Wasn't trying to get uh, this tight and perfect. I mean, it's just a beam out in the driveway, but I'm gonna sand it and it'll be perfect. Super tight, like it's furniture or something. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Although it's still going to be just as thick in here, I might have to use a chisel. I'll scrape out a little bit there just so we don't crack it. All right, then we'll go put it in. Fits. Oh yeah, good, good. There it is. Nice and tight there. Oh man. I gotta go up, I guess. A little bit of a gap, but nothing bad. You won't notice this size flush. Good. That's going to be flush there. We need to have enough to hook on there. Yes. Hook on right there, all the way up. Okay. I think I want to put the piece on the bottom there now. The brick down on the bottom. I found this second brick. This one's carrying a lot of the weight of this, but this one's floating. I don't like that. Am I hitting something here? Oh, look at that. Some cement there. If I hit that, I can get it further back in. Like that edge, that's nice. Covers the holes. All right, let's clean that up. I can get it all the way in. Well, I've got this heavy duty chisel. If not, I got the nail, big nail. But I think it's just uh, a piece of cement surrounded in caulking. I don't want to break the caulking. Yeah. Oh, the beam is here floating. This post isn't holding up the beam. This is holding up the beam. <laughs> I keep saying beam. I mean post. There. Let's see. Yeah, that's gonna pretty much cover these holes. Great. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do to make that hold there. 
some caulking liquid nails down in there hook it to the cement it'll be good all right let's do that too well some liquid nails underneath this maybe will help it bite Okay, I think we're good. Nail back in here. Okay, notch for the wire there, got around it. Still quite a gap up there I don't like. There's our hole the other side. So I think the key is now we're going to fasten on the face. Can get that back on, whatever, and then build everything off of this. Line everything up, go around, and this will be screwed into the beam. So will this really on each side. Each side has a two by four face and we can screw right into that. Um, and recess the nuts, all right. And this is the only one in the back that will be Pushed back. It's gonna look cool though. Alright. I wanted just to go through with the brad nailer and make the box tink, tink, tink fast, but I don't have any of the right length that's over an inch. I only have a three quarter inch. So I'm using uh, this bit to recess it. This on it, and then soften it. Yep. And this will hold it in place. There you go, and it's recessed a little bit. And here comes the stain. Put it down low. So, I might put a shim in there. It gets bigger and bigger because the beam sticks out up there. That one pushes through. Let's see what we can find. So, you know, Pearl, are you going to help me? So, down here, I could put in one of these painting sticks. It quickly gets too loose, though. So uh, maybe we'll double them up, break one in half, and then I have a piece of pallet wood that will fit up in here, right there, and support that. Can we get all the way in there? Yeah. There we go. All right, I need to keep it straight. Straight up and down, yeah? Okay, I screwed in this side with three screws. And I hooked that back on. A couple screws there. I'm just gonna putty those up. My wood putty before we stain it. And we just got these two sides to deal with. Okay. Well, I did was thinking about putting one more in here to suck that in. But I might get my little brad nailer to do that. Let's do this, uh, this side. Put this brace in to hold it. Now I can put it on there. Perfect. Seamless. Love it. One here. Although, nothing's keeping the top from pushing in. I could put a little block brace and just screw it right into the beam. I'm gonna brad nail this stuff in here and here. All right. All right, got a block stop in there. Now, let's brad the whole thing together. Lock it in, baby. All right. I'm using this to line it up and get it totally flat so I can get a nice corner on some of these. Push in the bow. There's not much of a bow. That creates a perfect 
flush corner. Love it. Hardly any crack at all. That's my best corner. Look what happened. Oh, came through. <laughs> best way to deal with this is just take some pliers, bend it off of there. right you get that I'm going further and further in oh, fun times there it is the first beam so I covered up some of the screw holes with some wood putty hopefully we're gonna be staining this dark Oh, and then there's a lot of staple holes that I could do, I suppose. And once again, the handy, take this out, here we go. That we popped out like the other one, looks like perfect fit the first try. Well, with this lamp mounted like that and the wires going up, there's no box. So we're gonna drill a hole in this with this. Come on, camera. With this, we have the wires come right out into here. So it can just be mounted on. Boom. Like that. That'll be much nicer. All right, and it'll hide the wires all the way up to the roof. All right. I put this one on. Got the hole there. Looks good. Put that little wedge in there. Halfway point. Put this up and voila. Oh, yeah. Another crack there. I'll compress that. Perfect. All right, let's put that on. Nice solid. <laughs> and clean it and we'll put it back on there. Put this one on. Yeah, look at that. Two more to go. New light bulb. Cleaned up all the glass. Cleaned up the container. Put this back together. Let's go put it on. Doesn't quite bring it back to new, but it's much better than it did. All right, that looks awesome, right? And this one too. Two done with the light. Cool, before I get started with the next one, I want to go check out this video I caught uh, while I was traveling across Idaho. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Hey guys, check this out. I'm in Twin Falls, Idaho, at this famous bridge here that people come from all over the world to jump off of. So we're gonna watch a guy, and there's actually a bunch getting ready to jump off it over there. So check out this clip, something cool.
How's that? What do you guys think? I want to do it. You want to do it? Yeah. All right, let's go get you hooked up, and we'll, I'll throw you off. Really? Yeah. I'm not going to do it. No. I'm not oh, they like it, so. Like it. Kids are crazy. Yeah. Cool stuff. Back to work. Post number one that I did. Number two. The light on it. Finished this today as well. The bell back there. And then the third one. Fourth one. I had to glue it there, so I'm ugly gutter coming down there. All right, I like this brown. Doesn't look good. It's actually called Red Mahogany. Red Mahogany 225. So here we go. Let's do this. I like it. All right, that's the end of this project. Uh, gonna do the other beams like this so they all look the same. Get out there and do something cool. See you guys. Check out the next video. Okay, friends, thank you for watching us stain that and make these uh, boxes around the pillars there. I think it looks way better, don't you? All right, tell me what you think in the comments and uh, like this video and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Catch you next time, friends. Bye. Thank you.